Hey, Canucks fans, and all my excitement to talk about Canucks personnel and roster implications and injured bodies this morning, I forgot to talk about what I really want to talk about, and that was the fact that Canucks forward Elias Pettersson was named the NHL's first star of the week. Jacob Vrana, winger for the Washington Capitals, was second star, and Mike Smith, goaltender for the Edmonton Oilers, still got to get used to saying that, was named the third star. But Pettersson had a, an awesome week, of course, in, the get, in earning that berth. Three goals, six assists, nine points in four games. And in doing so, he now has 20 points in, uh, in only 14 games. He's the sixth leading scorer in the NHL and extrapolated to a full, healthy 82-game season. It puts him on pace for 117 points, which would basically blow his 66 points from last season out of the water. And that was a 66-point season that earned him the Calder Trophy. So I, I don't think he's going to go at this pace, you know, for the entire season, especially as as you know, hockey gets tougher in January and February and March leading to the playoffs, whether maybe a small injury or two, or maybe it's other teams keying on him, whatever it may be. I don't think he's going to score 117 points, but to see him with 20 points and six overall in the NHL to start off, that's awesome. Obviously he's been playing really well, uh, making up uh, the, the lot of line with JT Miller and, and Brock Besser, of course, and they're lethal together at even strength. They're even more lethal in the power play when you add in Bo Horvat and Quinn Hughes. And Pedersen has been a leader. You know, there are a few people that were, were worried about a sophomore slump when he started off slow, but he didn't really start off slow. He just wasn't scoring as much, but he was racking up the assists. And now he's starting to put in a few goals now. So he's at six goals and 14 assists. And he's showing that he's a wonderful playmaker and wonderful distributor because he has guys on his line that can also score just as well as him, Brock Besser and JT Miller. So was not worried about a slump at all. Uh, more excited about what he's going to do. And of course, it's wonderful that the NHL recognized him for his, his great week. And that week, that nine points, those three goals, six assists in those four games, technically came in only three games because in one game, he got shut out. The whole team only scored one goal. So it's the week started off with a, the 7-2 victory at home that demolishing over the Florida Panthers and Pedersen had three assists in that game. And then uh, the Canucks hosted the LA Kings. You know, uh, actually, sorry, they played in LA to start off their three-game road trip, beat them five to three. And Pedersen, of those five, uh, five Canucks goals, he had a hand in four of them. He had one goal and three assists. Then in the two-one overtime loss to Anaheim, no points for Pedersen. And then in the the recent victory, five-two victory over San Jose, another two goals for Pedersen. So add it all up, it was three goals, six assists in nine points in four games, three games really, but in uh, three games that he actually got points in, but in four games uh, technically uh, to earn him the first star of the week. And in talking to media today, he was humble, as gracious as, as ever, saying, it's not just me, there are five guys, there are five guys on the ice at the, at the time, well, six when you include the goalie, but there are five skaters on the ice, so he was very quick to, uh, you know, to give praise, to affirm his teammates, his line mates, and not take it, uh, you know, take the honor just for himself. But as Canucks fans, as, as we like to see when the Canucks get recognized, we like to see them moving up power rankings. We like to see them moving up playoff projection models. And we certainly love to see when our players get recognized and rewarded for an award that's awarded across the league. So congratulations to Elias Pettersson, the NHL's first star of the week. I'm sure it's the first of many accolades to come this season. And I look forward to seeing what the Canucks can do, as I talked about earlier today, uh, tomorrow night when they host the St. Louis Blues. It's the first of five era nights, the 70s night. I talked about what we're going to be doing, and I'll do, drop more hints tomorrow. But I think it's pretty obvious if you watch my vlog from earlier today what our new parody song that's going to debut tomorrow what it's about and what it's a parody of. Okay, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought, what you've been thinking of Pedersen's hot start to the season. Were you at all worried about him when he wasn't scoring right away? And do you agree with me that's kind of settled into what he will be and that's, that he can score when he needs to, he can snipe when he needs to, but he's even a better playmaker, um, almost a Gretzky-like playmaker from a standpoint of his assist to goal ratio is 2-1 to one right now, 6 goals, 14 assists. So um, we'll see what happens as the season goes on. But once again, congratulations to Elias Pedersen, and we'll see what happens as we go forward. Canucks and Blues tomorrow night. I'll preview the game one more time in my vlog tomorrow. Have a great day. Rest of the day. God bless. Go Canucks, go.